Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax, the channel that's here to help you figure out how to build your dream garage. And today in my dream garage, I'm working on my Jeep Gladiator 2020 launch edition and we're installing some ditch lights. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have you back. As some of you know, I am building three or four off-roading vehicles right now. I've built a TW200 motorcycle, which is right there. I've done some mods to a 2020 Ford Expedition. I'm currently working on the Jeep Gladiator, and I'm also converting a traditional travel trailer slash camper to an off-roading, off-the-grid camper. So those are all my current projects. But today we're working on the Jeep Gladiator, and I'm installing some ditch lights. So let me show you what we have here. We have some DZ cowl uh, mounts for the ditch lights, and then we have some Baja Designs amber little ditch lights. This model is the S1. So let me show you where they're gonna go. So basically, the mount goes right over here on the cowl, and the reason I got these mounts is because um, I ride in the summer with the windshield down all summer. So I didn't want something on the, on the A-pillar. Uh, I didn't want any light bars on in front of here. Uh, that's why I got these mounts. And also, there are plenty of holes on these mounts where I can position the lights however I want. But it's a pretty simple project. We're gonna put the mounts on, and then if you haven't checked out my last video, I just installed uh, these backup lights. These are called the Vision X uh, Reverse Light Kit. And I installed those to uh, auxiliary switch four. Uh, these ditch lights is going to be auxiliary, uh, auxiliary switch 3 and then I have a S8 light bar, a 20 inch light bar that I'm going to be putting on when my winch is all assembled and then that's about it for the lights I think. Oh no, I do have some Baja design fog lights. Anyways, let's jump into uh, this cowl mount and get this project started. Let me just show you, uh, it is very, very simple. All you're doing is you put a spacer in the back and then the bolt in and the same thing on the top. This is pretty unique, I've never seen this before. This is the stock bolt that went in here, um, but you see it like steps down in the actual thickness of the thread, uh, which is crazy. It looks identical to the, this is the side ones. But from the top, they look identical, but they're actually completely different for, I guess, looks. Would it be nice if uh, DZ carried that over? Uh, but you know, I'm not really complaining. But one thing DZ should have carried over is these are Allen and these are Torx bits. So that does, uh, you know, that's kind of annoying that you would have to have two different tools to take this off. But anyways, uh, pretty straightforward. Let's finish it off. All right, I want to show you something here. Um, this. These are all the spaces that came with it. This spacer is awfully close to the actual bodywork. So when I tightened it down, you see how, uh, how that's like touching the front here. Sorry, I, I can't do this two hands. It's touching the, the paint here, but not here. You can see this spacer sits up. So, you know when you mount a TV, it comes with that universal mounting bracket. I always keep those spacers. I'm actually replacing it with a spacer that is higher here. Uh, to me, it's a, it's a fail on DZ's part that that space is not tall enough because this hole is deeper. Uh, and I don't want the bracket to chafe on this paint here. So I'm doing that just so you guys know. All right guys, it's like Jeep has uh, been building cars for a long time and they know people are gonna mod them. They actually have pass-throughs in this little foam here so you can pass through wires for different accessories. So that's cool. Uh, nice to see that. So the wires are in place. I'm just gonna clip on this uh, light here, put it all back together on both sides, and then I'm gonna hardwire it to this actual uh, accessory mount here. So let's do that. All right, as you can see, that's with my spacer in there, and there is an actual gap, which is crazy. So here's, here's my spacer, and here's the ones they supply. Uh, you can see that space that's right in here is exactly the difference, and this bracket was touching here. I would not recommend using that on this hole. All the spacers work on the other holes, it's just that one hole. All right, now let's uh, figure out where we want these ditch lights here. Because that's, that's the beauty with this. You can put it up here, you can put the bracket down here. 
Uh, obviously up here I don't want it because that's when the windshield falls down. So I'm gonna figure out uh, where I want it right here, further to the back. Let's jump into that. I'm gonna have to get a different antenna if I can keep hearing that knock. I mean, that's not a big problem. But anyways, uh, that's what it looks like right now. Ideally, these should just mount directly on here without this bracket. This bracket isn't really good looking. Um, but as I said, I, I want to leave these as they are with the windshield set down. I may have to figure out how to uh, maybe cut this part of the bracket off. I don't know. But for now, I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'll uh, let my brain figure out um, how to fix it. So the Baja Design lights actually came with a full wiring harness. I don't want to cut this up uh, just to get a connection so uh, I can hook it up to the actual auxiliary uh, panel in the Jeep. But it's nice that they actually include the extra clip so you can make your own uh, wire to hardwired to the auxiliary panel. So I'm going to work on that and then we'll test out the light. Alright guys, they are all mounted and wired up. Let's turn them on. So I have wired them just to work off the batteries for now or program them. That way I don't have to turn the car on. Damn, they are bright. Well guys, there you have it. Those are my uh, Baja Design S1 Amber Lights and my DZ Cowl Mounts. Wait, before I let you go, I actually changed them. I think that's much better. I had to actually remove the lens and rotate the lens so it's uh, vertical there. Um, and then this was the original one. So I'm gonna change that. This is just too much extra bracket and everything. So I'm gonna keep those brackets for maybe something later, but I will be mounting that side just like this. Let me know what you think of this new setup. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Be sure you leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and let me know what you're looking forward to seeing next. But what am I gonna do next? Hmm, I don't know. But make sure you tune in next time to see what we're doing. So until then, I'll see you then.